Imagine this, an ordinary woman, Anatolia Pasca, living an ordinary life with one extraordinary ability. She can foresee disasters in her dreams. Anatolia, a name as enchanting as the mysteries her dreams held, was a beacon of the extraordinary in a world of the mundane. Her nights were painted with images of events yet to unfold, her slumbers were whispers of the future. One such whisper, one such dream, was a chilling premonition of a disaster that would shake the world to its core, the Chernobyl nuclear catastrophe. In her dream, she saw a gargantuan fireball rising, felt an intense heat wave signaling an impending calamity. This was not a mere figment of imagination, but a distressing glimpse into the future that was dismissed by many until it was too late. So what if you could see the future in your dreams? Would you be a prophet or a pariah? In a disturbing dream, Anatolia envisioned a giant fireball rising into the sky, followed by an intense wave of heat. This wasn't just any dream, it was vivid, almost as if she was living it, not merely witnessing it in the realm of sleep. It was a sight beyond imagination, a spectacle of terror and awe, a fireball so massive and radiant that it seemed to eclipse the sun itself. Anatolia could feel the heat on her face, a wave of searing intensity that was as real as any summer's day. It was an oppressive, smothering heat, the kind that leaves you gasping for breath and longing for the cool relief of a breeze that never comes. An ominous sense of dread filled her being, a gut-wrenching feeling that something was seriously wrong. The dream was so potent, so vivid, that it jolted her awake. Anatolia lay there in the darkness, her heart pounding in her chest, her mind racing with thoughts and questions. What was this dream? What did it mean? Was it a figment of her imagination or a portent of things to come? Anatolia was an ordinary woman, but this was no ordinary dream. It was a vision that shook her to her core, a nightmare that haunted her waking hours. A dream or a nightmare? What would you do if you were haunted by such a terrifying vision? With a heavy heart, Anatolia tried to alert those around her about her ominous dream. Undeterred by the skepticism she faced, she continued to share her premonition with anyone who would listen. Yet her warnings fell on deaf ears. The local authorities, engrossed in their day-to-day -day affairs, brushed off her concerns. After all, she was just an ordinary woman with an extraordinary dream. In a society where dreams were often seen as mere figments of the imagination, Anatolia's vivid nightmare of a fiery disaster was dismissed as a product of anxiety, not a portent of a real-life catastrophe. The cultural norms of the time played a part in this dismissal, with dreams rarely taken seriously as harbingers of future events. In the face of such indifference and skepticism, what could Anatolia do? She had done her part, she had raised the alarm. All she could do now was wait and watch, hoping against hope that her nightmare would not become reality. Then it happened. The Chernobyl nuclear power plant experienced a catastrophic failure. In the early morning hours of April 26, 1986, an explosion in reactor number four sent a fireball into the sky, lighting up the darkness. The intensity of the blast ruptured the reactor core, releasing an unprecedented amount of radiation into the surrounding environment. The scale of the disaster was staggering. With the reactor's safety systems compromised, the plant's workers scrambled to contain the situation, their efforts hampered by the lethal levels of radiation. Within days, dozens of these brave men and women would pay the ultimate price, succumbing to acute radiation sickness. In the following weeks and months, the fallout from the disaster spread far beyond the confines of the Chernobyl plant. An invisible, silent threat, the radiation contaminated vast tracts of land, rendering them uninhabitable for centuries to come. Thousands of people were displaced, their homes lost to the exclusion zone that was hastily established around the stricken reactor. As the world grappled with the magnitude of the disaster, the parallels with Anatolia's dream became chillingly apparent. The fireball she had seen, the intense heat wave she had felt, it all seemed to mirror the terrifying reality of the Chernobyl disaster. The fireball from Anatolia's dream had become a devastating reality. In the aftermath of the disaster, people began to remember Anatolia's warnings. A once dismissed dream had now taken on a prophetic significance. People's attitudes shifted, casting a new light on Anatolia's precognitive abilities. The woman who once struggled to be taken seriously was now viewed with a mix of awe and fear. In the shadow of the Chernobyl disaster, her dream became a chilling reminder of ignored omens. The fireball, the heat wave, they were no longer fragments of a wild imagination, but stark symbols 
of a devastating reality. The world was forced to confront its lack of vigilance and the high price it had to pay for it. Anatolia's life was irrevocably altered. She was thrust into the spotlight, her once private existence now a public spectacle. But through it all, she remained a symbol of foresight, her dream a stark reminder of the potential warnings we might ignore. Anatolia's dream had become a harsh lesson for mankind. Anatolia's story is not just about a dream but a wake-up call for humanity. It's a tale of an ordinary woman, Anatolia Pasca, who dreamt of a catastrophe before it unfolded, the Chernobyl nuclear disaster. The rising fireball, the intense heat wave, it was all there in her dreams, a coded message from the universe. Her attempts to warn those around her were met with disregard, a harrowing example of neglecting omens. When the nuclear accident did occur, it wasn't just a confirmation of her dream, but a stark reminder of the dire consequences of ignorance. Reflecting upon the aftermath, people started to view Anatolia's dream not as a mere coincidence, but as a profound insight into the potential power of dreams and intuition. It's a lesson to us all to pay heed to our inner voice, to take seriously the signs we receive. In the end, Anatolia's dream is a reminder to us all to listen, to be vigilant, and to never dismiss the warnings we may receive.